Aparibe should be cooling in prison for supporting someone bent on to divide this country, like Namdekano. Additional claims. The presidential aide said Aparibe should be calling his feet in prison after he stood shorty for someone bent on the dismemberment of the country. Presidential aide Femi Additional has stated that Senate Minority Leader Eginaya Abaribi has been talking about the mismanagement of the country, yet he uses foul languages against those in power. Additional in a Facebook piece on Thursday night said Abaribi should be calling his feet in prison after he stood short for someone bent on dismemberment of the country. The senator and two others had stood as shorties for detained indigenous people of Biafra leader Namde Kano before he was granted bail by the Federal High Court in Abuja on Friday 25th, 2017. Abaribe had run into trouble when Kano jumped bail the same year and fled Nigeria because of the alleged extrajudicial attempt on his life in Abia. In September 2017, he the detained IPOP leader is facing terrorism related charges before Justice Binta Niyako of the Federal High Court in Abuja. And the case had been adjourned to October 21st, 2021, for continuation of hearing. Additional in the piece titled Witty Matters About Our Country made a veiled reference to Abaribe, saying some people incite violence through words or action, thus exacerbating the security challenges we have. You wonder where they are from and why they would further stock a burning fire with incendiary materials. There is one funny senator who talks about the mismanagement of our diversity as a country, yet he daily uses foul languages against those in leadership. He stood shorty for someone bent on dismemberment of the country, and when that one vanishes, and he should have been cooling his feet in prison. The senator still spills rubbish, chief man mismanager of our diversity. And the president had words for him and his ilk who exist around the country. We are ready to arrest and prosecute all persons inciting violence through words or action. Our resolve for a peaceful, united, and one Nigeria remains resolute. And unwavering. See, let me tell you, my dear viewers, Femi Additional should just be ready to face the panel. I'm telling you, he should just be ready to face the panel because he doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't, after uh, 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 this uh, Minister of, of, of uh, Information and Culture, Lai Muhammad, after him is Femi Additional. Femi Additional. I, I wonder the kind of man of God that he claimed he is. That we said the wrong thing and still be supporting it. You claim to be a man of God and you're supporting evil. You claim to be a man of God and you're, and, you, and, and, you're, and you're supporting bad things. You are not a man of God, dear. You are not a man of God. You are a deceitful person. You are more than deceitful. You're more than deceitful. I cannot, I cannot vouch for you. You know that what the president is doing is outside the constitution. And you know what the scripture said about whatsoever that does what is not in the scripture. Our constitution in Nigeria is just like the, the scripture of this country. Anyone that goes against what is in the constitution have gone against the will of God. The Bible is our spiritual constitution. Why the Nigerian constitution is the constitution of this country? So I see no reason why when you see what, what is not good, you will be supporting it because you are part of the government. Because you are part of the administration. Because you are part of the administration, those things stop you from saying the truth. Look at what you are talking about. Now, that the barrier should be calling in prison. What has the barrier done to be to to, 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 to to be arrested? 
If there is anybody that should be arrested, I think it should be you. Because you have seen the truth and you refuse to reveal it. I don't blame my friend of mine that said that when we are talking about the presidency, let's not be calling Buari anymore. Yes, that's what a friend of mine said. He said Buari is not a presidency, as far as he's concerned. That the presidency are people like Gabba Sheo, Femi Adishino, Lailai Muhammad, then Loretta Oloche. These are the people that are the, that we call presidency. These are the people taking all these decisions that we think that Buari is taking. That's what a friend of mine said. That's what he said. So we just have to be careful. Can you imagine? I was, I'm totally disappointed in female national. Absolutely disappointed. I can't believe that this can be coming from him. And he calls himself a man of God. Which message is it trying to pass? Lies. Lies. Yeah? Complete lies. Hey. This country, this country has promoted fake man of God. Fake, fake, fake man of God in government. Nigeria is not a country that's, um, that, that, that should uh, um, support uh, the, 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 the coming in of pastors as, um, as politicians. I'm telling you, it's not. Because a lot of things have happened. And a lot of things are still happening. A lot of things are still happening. I wonder what uh, uh, Premier Additional is is is, is, uh, is actually uh, uh, contemplating. I wonder what gave him that confidence. It's it's, it's too bad. It's too bad of this country. Absolutely bad. I cannot concur to this mess. I can't. Neither can I give encouragement to it. You understand? Yeah. All right. Let me hear from you anyway to know the area you are personally coming from. All right. Don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well. Ask the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.